Sunday morning, I always have time to record, and I always feel so sh**. F yo, yo, yo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great night. Whatever time you're watching the video, we are back on uh, some MW2. But today is uh, my well, it's my first multiplayer video on the actual game. Up until this point, I've been playing the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. So if you haven't seen that series, go watch that, man. Sh**. <laughs> <laughs> From the time I'm recording this video, I just finished the campaign yesterday. And in my personal opinion, I don't get me wrong, the first Modern Warfare 2019, I love Clean House, I love the Wolf's Den mission, Going Dark is good. Uh, but this campaign, in my opinion, just fucking topped it from start to finish easily. I, MW2 campaign was one of my favorite campaigns I've played. It was fucking badass. But let, let me catch you up real quick before we talk about some shit. So I have my M4 gold. Then we have the AK74U gold. And then we also have uh we also have the last cast off gold. Just in case no one believes me. See, it's there! That's gold, okay? So we got that. I can't remember what this class was. I think I think this one was just set to the mini back because I've only just recently unlocked it. So basically, whilst I've been doing campaign, I've been playing all hours of friends, and I've gotten some guns gold. So that's what I've got so far. But now I'm really close to the cast off 764. So I, I have the first three, get 50 kills with ADS. However, I need to get to level 20 to get this last camo. Now, I don't know what the challenges are for this, but I still need to level this gun up four more times before I fucking get the challenge. So this video, I'm probably gonna be leveling it up and then I will make a video when I finally get this piece of shit gold. Out of all the cast offs, this is by far, oh my, this is the fucking worst. I hate this weapon. It is the most painful one. However, I'm, I won't go too much into that. I'll save that for the video where I get it gold. And as I said, this day, I'm literally just going to try and get this to level 20 in this video. But again, if this is behind the back hills, I'm, uh, bro, I'm, I don't know. I just, I just might as well just eat my own ass. The, the M4 was behind the back hills, bro, and I was fucking foul. Oh my, I could not get it. It took me like, probably like 20 games, dude. <laughs> it was ass. So game, I've been playing Hardpoint because they're longer games. And I think it's better for XP, I think. But I just like having a lengthy game. Like, I feel like te Team Deathmatch, just as I'm getting into the game, is fucking over. And, and Domination, so I used to play Domination a lot. But then I started with Hot, and then I started playing Hardpoint, and that's like obviously 250. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is way better. I like this one. I can't even... Fam, like, 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 why can't, like, why can't they make a simple fucking interface that doesn't lag? Like, why is everything so lag? I get it just came out. But fam, it's a new game. Like, I, I don't understand how, like, we used to buy Call of Duty. It used to come with, like, 20-something maps and no fucking issues, really. It's just funny glitches. Whereas this one, if I'm loading into a game, I can't do shit. Heard ya. Bruv, what the fuck? Ah! Through the wall! Ah! Ow! Got him. Oh, oh! Alex! There's like all three of them lined up. I'm just twitching dicks! Anyway, what I was gonna say, so I recently finished the campaign. I fucking loved it. I love that shit, dude. I don't even want to play this multiplayer anymore. I just want them to release the MW3 campaign. If you haven't seen it, I won't say too much on about it, but at the end, there was like a revealing and like a tease to the next one, which if you played the first one, it's like, uh, 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 it's, um, it's not really like that much of a spoiler. Drop! Don't try and mount up on me. But I won't. I still won't say anything. But let's just say I got hyped. Again, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Oh my. You know what? I, I chat shit about this gun. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now. Either I'm feeling it or this is a bot ass. Like, look at that. Already level 17. Ah, dude, that aim. My aim! So then I, I was speaking to my brother and I was like, okay. Like, because usually they do like a Black Ops and then a Modern Warfare, then, then this, then that, then this. And I'm like, so does that mean we have to wait till 2024? To fucking get MW3. And then he said something about that there's rumors that there's, um, there's not gonna be an MW, uh, no, Call of Duty next year. Uh, and, and so, like, they're, they're gonna focus on this game in Warzone 2 for, for two years whilst constantly adding on it and just keeping the content within the game, keep upping and upping, which I think, in hindsight, is, is not a bad idea because it means that people have more time to, you know, maybe if they want to chase all the camos and they, they work, you know, that gives them, like, another whole year to work on this game. Again, people that want to play Warzone too, it gives that a longer lifespan. But I don't give a shit what y'all want. I, I want MW3 campaign. <laughs> Basically, I hate them, bro. Shut up! I mean, everyone on the team, 
I thing is I don't like muting the whole lobby because I like hearing the death I don't like muting the whole lobby because I still want to hear the enemies like I because it's funny to hear what they say when you kill them But I don't want to hear the teammates. So yeah, apparently there's not gonna be a new Call of Duty next year or something like that but Then I was thinking surely if the next one is like ah, if, the, if the next one is like a black ops then surely that means modern warfare 3 could potentially be like a 2025 project and I don't know if I can wait that long for the campaign. Alex, 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 thank you. Oh my god, those initial shots were fucking awful, but... Because as I said, as soon as it finished, I had that I had that same feeling, right? I only watched The Boys, a co like, a couple months ago. So I watched all three seasons, one after another. And when I finished season three... When I finished season three of The Boys, I instantly wanted a four. And I was Googling when it was coming out and all this shit, and it's not, it's not gonna be for a while. But I got the same feeling when I finished the campaign that I got when I finished the boys. I want it now! That, that's what I got. And then, okay, so back to, I asked my brother, and I was like, fuck, does that mean it's gonna be a 2024 project? Because 2023 is gonna be like... A, a, a call, like... 2033 is gonna be like a Black Ops or something. He's like, no, I don't think there's gonna be a Call of Duty. But then I also heard rumors of aren't they remastering or remaking Advanced Warfare? Which, by the way, no, no offense if you like it, but that, in my opinion, was one of, if not the worst Call of Duty I have ever played. In my opinion, it ruined fucking Call of Duty. It pissed me off. Oh, dude. I hated it. I think I made a tier list on Call of Duties, and that was, I think that was my least favorite. I think I put it at the bottom, which by the way, that reminds me, I knew, I need to do another tier list Call of Duty video because uh, I, my, my opinions have updated and I need to add this Call of Duty onto it. Uh, so I, I will be uploading that, so stay, stay tuned for that, bitch. But then, uh, whew. Um, <laughs> it won in my mouth, it won in my ass. Can I just face one dude? And I'm not gonna lie, obviously, what the fuck? <laughs> Did anyone else see that? So with Advanced Warfare being probably my least... I just drew a silhouette around him. With Advanced Warfare being my least favorite Call of Duty, when I heard the news, I wanted to eat glass. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to beat the fuck out of my family. I'm kidding, I'm fucking kidding. Come on, bitch. I literally pre-aimed the corner and... Lost. Like here's the problem with Advanced War. I don't want to miss out on a year of Call of Duty, but I also don't want to fucking play it. But I, I'm not a fan of this whole remastering stuff anyway. I, I don't think we should be remastering shit. I think we should be. I just think that we should be making new titles. Or like this is like like the reboot. I think the reboot is a good idea. Like especially with the campaign and stuff. Like this is the remake of remake of uh, Modern Warfare 2, obviously, which I like. I think reboots are good. So if they started with Black Ops over again, I don't think that's a bad idea. That's sort of how they done with this. I mean, I, I think it'd be nice to see something new, but reboots in my eyes are okay. Because obviously there's probably gonna be an MW3 reboot. I don't know if that counts as a spoiler, but if it does, I'm fucking sorry. Fucking hell. How am I winning any gunfights today? I have no idea. Oh, that's the only problem with this map. I actually, I started off hating this map. I, now I don't mind it. I think it's a pretty fun map. But now I actually kind of enjoy it. The only problem is there's a lot of spots that you just get shot from, from above because people are camping upstairs. But again, lots of the maps on this game. Oh, um, a lot of them are good. So, some maps are good overall. Some are... Some are shit overall, and then some maps are good depending on what type of lobby you get. Like this map. If you get a bunch of campers, you may as well just leave this map fucking instantly. But if the lobby isn't too bad... Hey, bro, it's me! If the lobby isn't too bad, then this map's pretty good. But the whole point of this video in leading up, so as they say, so the timeline of my thought process was, I want to play MW3. When is that coming out? They might be missing a year, and before that, they might be remaking shitty fucking Advanced Warfare. Again, no offense if you like that game, but eat my balls. But again, that got me thinking of, do I even like the whole idea of remastering? Because, like, because here's the, are they going to remaster and bring out another Call of Duty still? Because they don't even put enough attention into the shit now. Every Everything goes into Warzone. Don't get me wrong. I This is one of my favorite Call of Duties, I think. This game has not disappointed. Obviously... It's not perfect. Every game has fixes that needs it off, off the bat. That's okay. But I think overall, this is a very fun, well-rounded Call of Duty. I'm enjoying myself. Call of Duty get on my nerves because I'm passionate about the game. But I, 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 this game is very good. I'm not hating on it. But like, take, take the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare, for example. They brought that out with Infinite Warfare. And everyone was so hyped about the remaster of Modern Warfare that... 
Nobody even, like, no, I think I played, like, when it first dropped, me and my friend, Robbie, we played maybe two or maybe under ten games of Infinite Warfare, and we were like, you guys play, like, such, I, P-U-S-S, -S, it might be pussies? I don't know, but it's my teammate, so, I mean, I, 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 I'm not, I don't think they do, I just think, I think they're playing the game. Bro's not having a good time, but nobody really, because of MW, no one, really fucking played Infinite Warfare. Obviously, Infinite Warfare Will Lie wasn't great, but because of the remaster, everybody wanted to go over there, and I think you can have a mastery camo in there, and they really fucked themselves over for the, um, for the Infinite Warfare Call of Duty, because I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I don't, I don't recall anyone that actually played that. Wow, I just spawned! And, and but he, even if they release a Call of Duty, like a remastered one without another Call of Duty on top of it, I still don't want to play it. There's one Call of Duty that I think should never be remastered, should never be touched again! Never, and not because I don't like it, but actually because it is my favorite Call of Duty, and in my opinion, the best Call of Duty to ever have touched this planet. Almost like, I should, so I should level up the gun next game. This map is, uh, this map is good, but if you get a bunch of people using, is it the SBR? Because I, I fucking use it, I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, S no, SPR. If everybody's using that on this map, oh my god, dude, just leave. Just fucking leave, man. Bro, just, it, like, I'll be playing this game with my friends, and I, like, they'll be talking during this part, and I'm like, just shut the fuck up. I cannot hear you. The helicopter is so loud. So this was, the, so what I'm about to talk about now is what I really want to talk about at this point, like the main point of this video. This Call of Duty should never be remastered, ever. Ever! And that is Black Ops 2. If they remastered any other, no, I'm not even gonna fucking try. I'm not even gonna bother. If they remaster Black Ops 2, I will drop to my knees and cry. Because even though I love the game, I just know it, will, it, will, it won't be the same. It will never be the same, if anything, all of my happy memories on it, all of my childhood memories on it will be fucking ruined. Oh, oh, Alex, but what about, what about the new generation that, that, uh, that had, didn't get to experience Black Ops 2? Tough shit! Experience your own fucking Call of Duties. Tough shit. Oh, Alex, that's so petty and you sound like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Because I don't want to miss out on a Call of Duty because I refuse to play it. I know that's selfish, but I am. I'll admit it. I do not see look at that level 18. Uh -huh. I don't want them to remaster it And I, I think a lot of people that played it would agree. It's a hard decision to make Alex, Alex, we love the game so much that we well we would we would do anything to go back to those times But remastering it won't do anything but ruin it and ruin the memories Do you know what I mean? It would just be replaced with memories of of just pure fucking depression Leave the good times in the past and move on because here's the thing as well is I'm pretty sure like I don't watch Vanos anymore but I, I watch Vanos all the time, especially during the Black Ops 2 days. But I had seen a clip of him recently saying that, you know, we don't play this game that much because, one, he sucks ass. He said, I'm not saying he sucks, but he said he sucks ass Call of Duty. And he said just the player style and everything about Call of Duty is so different. And he's right. Black Ops 2, like, like think of the think of the videos he used to make. They used to, he used to do, like, Ninja Diffuses and, and it, it didn't give a shit. They could do funny stuff. Whereas, like... Call of Duty's now, you can't do that. Having fun on this game is, is, is squatting. Spreading your cheeks to get your anal cavity as wide as you can, so you can, it can, is exfoliate even the proper word, just shit on everyone in the lobby, even your teammates. Don't give a fuck about them. Shit on everyone. Become top, like, that is fun to people now. Is being, like, the best. Like, not, with, not losing any gunfight. And he's right. It's like it's like going back to an ex-girlfriend. It's never the same or 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 good the second time round. Do you know what I mean? It's if it didn't work the first time, it's not gonna work the second. And, and even though Call of Duty did work the first time, you know, I think if you just go back to it, it's I, th I honestly just think the new community would ruin it as well. Again, Black Ops 2 is one of the last simple ones. So are they gonna leave the movement the same? Like if they did remaster Black Ops 2, are they gonna keep the movement the same? Or are we gonna go back to literally like the very standstill movement where there's like no shake screen no realism are we gonna have like ah! are we gonna <laughs> are we gonna have um bitches up here dude is it gonna be connected to a war zone or um, alex is it gonna be uh sae i didn't even know i'm popping off like that hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up i got an overwatch helo the fuck? Hey, yo! Like, I, the, the, I'm trying to find the best way to word it. Because I know the people that know what I'm saying know what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know people that know, no. Go on, give me some kills. I got one. I'll take it. 
I'll take the one. I'll take it. Sometimes I get none, depending on the map. Yeah, because the map, if you have all airborne score streaks on a on a map that's like all inside, you may as well have no score streaks. Like like hotel. Do we get any fucking airborne kills with that shit? Unless you're a hunter missile and you can like find your way through the windows. Even then, that's fucking hard. Like, would it, would, like, say they were to remaster Black Ops 2, would it be the exact Black Ops 2? Because I know now they have the battle pass, they have skins you can have, they have, do you know what I mean? Like, or would it be Black Ops 2 with all the new features? Because then that's not really Black Ops 2. You may as well do a reboot of the Black Ops series. You know what I mean? Again, I said I wouldn't mind that. But please leave the DSR alone. Leave, leave the Ballista out of this. Leave... Leave the MSMC out of this. Leave the AN94 out of this. Leave, do you know what I mean? Leave it all out of this. Leave them in the past. Let them be happy, okay? Let us be fucking happy because I just know my memories will be replaced with bad ones and, and I just think... And I know, Al, Alex, you, you, you shouldn't outdo everyone else's opinion. Yeah, that is completely fucking right. But I also agree that people that love Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and consider it their favorite game, I feel they would agree, like, please leave it in the past. Give these new Call of Duty players their own Call of Duties to look back on, like this one. If this is one of your first Call of Duties, I agree this will be one of your favorites, because one, they have given us a very good Call of Duty. So the people that are playing this for the first time, in a couple years when the other Call of Duties come out, they'll be like, oh, this ain't shit on the... On MW2 2022. And that's okay. I think that's good that people are getting the, their Call of Duties. Like, I don't think we should be mastering, remastering any. I think dude, we should be making new ones, but they're fucking good. Like this one. Ooh, it's like, um, I know. Oh, he slid. What the fuck? I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, I level. I see I leveled up again. Yeah, we're going to do it in this video. Easy. Not gold, but we'll get, we'll get it to level 20, hopefully. It's like, um. I'm very aware that, um, I mean, I don't know if this generation of the, well, I say generation, I'm, I'm not fucking old either, but I don't know if this era of people that love this game. I know some people's favorite Call of Duty is Black Ops 3. I personally, my personal opinion, I will admit, Black Ops 3 all round, like all round as a whole is a very good game. The multiplayer, even though I'm not a jetpack enjoyer, triple kill, even though I'm not a crazy jetpack enthusiast for the Call of Duties, I will admit it is a very good Call of Duty. The zombies was very good. I wouldn't say it's the best zombies. It's just up there, but it's not my favorite zombies. Multiplayer was very good for being a jetpack. And uh, I can't... I, I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember the campaign that much, but I do remember it wasn't bad. But it's like, it's like remastering Black Ops 3. Like, I wonder if the people that played that growing up, like, I wonder if they would even want that remastered because, because then, do they want their memories replaced? Do you know what I mean? Even though, it doesn't feel like Black Ops 3 was that long ago, but it was. It was like, shit, we, I was playing that in like, was I playing that in year 10? Was that 2016 or was that 2016? It was it was early on. It was was it 2016? Because Black Ops 4 was 2018, I think. I think Black Ops 4 was 2018. But it's like if they said they're gonna remaster that, like the title itself was like a huge one. But like, would you want? That? Give me 45 minutes while I'm flash. I I literally have that tag mask on as well, and that still violates me to the max. But like. To, I'm, I'm genuinely asking to the Black Ops 3 lovers, would you want that remastered? Would you? Or would you want your memories happily left in the past? Like like me with Black Ops 2. Like like genuine question. Let me know in the comments. Or or if I or if you guys love Black Ops 2 and you want like that remaster and you think I'm wrong, again let me know, but let me know why. Don't just don't just roast the shit out of me. Let me know. Do you know what I mean? Oh well that whilst the hard points outside, I best use this. Oh, I got it. Okay. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Oh no, because I'm on point based. I'm not on. I forgot. I, I changed it from kills to point. Does that make me dog shit? Does that make me a pussy if I do points? Does, should I change it back? Is my vagina wet? Should I should I go should I go back? I just think happy memories should be left at that. I think when when you when you try and bring back, it's just never the same. I think the girlfriend analogy is probably the the best. Like you think back to when the relationship first started and it was all happy and and it, and, it, and it was good. And then, and then you guys break up, and then you get back together, expecting it to go back to like when you first got together, and it just, ah! and it, and you try it again, and it is, if anything, it's worse. Do you know what I mean? You should have just left it. That's when you need to cut it, because if you try and cling on to it when it's just not there, then you're not gonna get any like all your happy memories are gonna be replaced, because the most recent memories you have of that relationship are the ones you're gonna remember the most, I think, and those will be if it strings on for too long. The, uh, uh, the, the bad ones. So I honestly do think that, you know, this Call of Duty should never be remastered. Now, I know I'm bitching and whining about it, and, and you might be sitting there like, Alex, why are you crying? They've not even rumored it. But it's because they've rumored 
Advanced Warfare being remastered, I'm wondering if they'll remaster any Black Ops, which I really hope they don't. I think a reboot might be a good idea, I will say. If you do reboots with similar maps, bring some perhaps maps, I think that's a good idea. Oh my god! Ah! We did it! Guys, we did it! We did it, we did it! All, we did like three levels in one game. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, right. This is the moment of truth. Moment of truth! I honestly didn't know if I'd go four levels in this video because I'm because I'm dog shit, so I, I didn't know. The cast off for some reason when I quit record, the gun actually didn't feel that bad. I remember when I was trying to level this one up, because you have to level this one up first to get the last assault rifle, which is the seven, no, which is the 545. And then you have to get that to a level to unlock the AK74U. I know that's still called a cast off, but that's what I'm calling it. And then you use that to unlock the Vaznez, is it? And then the mini oh, dude, I, I this this is fucking confusing me. Right, not behind the back kills. Not behind the back kills. Not behind the back! What's it say? Get 15 kills for- ah!